This is the Super Gamepad, and here's a quick guide on how you can update the controller and verify its functionality. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the Hoja firmware config application open, and this can be opened in Chrome or Edge web browser, and make sure that update says 430. If you're accessing this after a while, it may ask you to refresh the page to complete the update. I'm going to plug in a standard USB Type-C cable to the PC I'm using. And the controller will turn on into the default mode. Uh, if you have another default mode set, you're just going to hold A while you plug it in. If you're accessing the device for the first time, you're going to see a permissions window come up and you're going to select Super Gamepad Plus and select Connect. In this case, both the main firmware and the Bluetooth firmware are out of date, so we're gonna do the main firmware first. We'll simply click on Bootloader, then we'll click on Download, and in our files over here, we're gonna see under this PC, we're gonna see the RPI RP2, which is the controller, and we'll just hit Save, and this will download the firmware to the controller. The controller reboots, and let's go ahead and click Connect again. So now the main firmware is up to date, and we're going to go ahead and update the Bluetooth firmware. You're going to select Baseband, which will reboot the controller into the Bluetooth updating mode. We'll click uh, Install, and we're going to click on the USB serial port. Uh, this is for the CH370K, which is built into the controller, which handles the updating of the Bluetooth firmware. We'll select Connect. Install. We do not need to erase. We can just select Next and select Install. And this may take up to two to three minutes. It could depend on the specific controller and the device that you're installing to. So we're going to go ahead and pause and I'll resume when this is installing. If you run into this issue, like I'm doing here, we're going to simply unplug the controller, let it turn off, Plug it back in, hit back, hit close, connect. We'll try one more time. We're going to do the USB serial port, connect. One thing we can also do is go to logs and console and hit reset device. And we can see that the previous firmware is installed and the firmware is starting correctly. We have a good connection. So let's go ahead and try that installation again. And now we got the installing prompt. It took just a moment. Sometimes you just need a reboot or you may need to try a different cable or a different Windows PC. Oh, hello. And it's just about done. When it says it's complete, which it should in just a moment, we're going to unplug the controller, which will power it off, plug it back in, select next, exit out, and select connect. At this point, we should see all the different settings here. We can try the different color modes to see if it changes, and that is going through all the colors correctly, so LEDs are working just fine. We want to go down to Hardware Test and select Start. For this specific device, it does not have Rumble, IMU, or Analog. So this looks like a pass. It's got battery communications, Bluetooth, RGB, clock, latch, and data. And at this point, we can simply select disconnect and you are done updating your Super Gamepad.